I'm prepping a new head for my car because I kind of torched the last one and it's already been repaired once so I think it's about time to uh, do a fresh head. So this one here is a uh, 1G 6 bolt head that's uh, been bone stock, never been abused, abused before. We all know they all have but anyways I run these ARP insert washers in my head not the uh, regular ARP washers. These ones here need to be uh, counterboard into the head, like so, so that this little ring goes down in nice and snug inside the head. And when you tighten down your head studs, this little ring around the inside prevents the aluminum from crushing in around the bolt and making your uh, head stud torque not be as accurate as it could be or weakening it. Or weakening the structure so now when you torque down your head the pressure like the, the aluminum obviously gets squished down but it also wants to squish into the hole and this prevents that these are like 20 bucks on summit and probably should be installed by a machine shop but i don't have one of those and uh i don't feel like paying somebody to do it either so I did this on the last one, it obviously worked. So all you need, a nice drill press. This is a pretty heavy duty one. And a 14 millimeter, 14 14.5 millimeter drill bit. And you need a way of accurately measuring how deep you drill into the head. So I've got a little dial bore gauge or dial gauge here, just a cheap Harbor Freight one, doesn't need to be anything fancy. But, uh, so, I'll show you one here. I'm going to get the table. I've just done all of this side. But I'll show you one on this side. Maybe I'll get to a hole that's a little easier to see. So, none on this side have been touched. So, I'm going to raise my table up. Try to get this centered. And I'm working one-handed here, so bear with me. The lighting down there is probably not the best either. Well, I was going to try to get you the best shot possible here by using my tripod, but uh, Dollarama fails me again. Oh well, we'll just wing this. So, as I was saying, I want to get the head up as close to the hole as possible. And a little tip here if you want to center on the hole. So I'm pretty close here but I'm going to bring the table up even closer so it's just about touching. Pretty close. That's good enough. And so I'm going to walk my table down. I want to make sure the table's nice and rigid. So now I don't have a lot of room. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Now turn your drill bit backwards so you don't bite into the head and put a little bit of pressure down on the drill press. So now I've centered the head to the hole. Don't go forwards because then you're going to bite into the aluminum and you're going to wreck your, uh, your depth measurement. But right now, that's riding backwards in there and centered itself to the hole. And so on my... Uh, dial gauge here. I'm pushing down on the uh, on the drill press currently so it's bottomed out in the hole. So I'm going to zero my meter. So I've got about two millimeters. I actually, there we go. We're pretty close. This doesn't have, this isn't exact. This is close enough. You know that's 0 0.09 or 0 0.1 of a millimeter. That's really hardly anything and being a Harbor Freight dial gauge here it's probably within the acceptable tolerance. So now that I'm centered, I flip on the drill press, not too fast, not too slow, it's, it's aluminum, it's going to cut easy, that drill bit is brand new. So this is zeroed out, of course it's gone up seeing as I uh, actually, I don't like where that's riding right now, I'm going to fix that. It moved on me. Let's try this again. Oops. 
Of course. I'll be back. Okay, so I got that resorted out. I just let the uh, the pin ride in that little uh, uh, center point on the shaft and the drill press here. So we'll start that over again. We'll uh, re-zero it out. So now we're we're in the hole, and it's not it's not perfect, but that's probably within tolerance of a Harbor Freight gauge. And like I said, spin your drill back backwards, and it should be. Nice and centered in the hole. It gets moved a little bit on me now, so I'm gonna re-zero it now that we're centered. Again, this is close enough. We're, you know, not even half a millimeter. So now that we're centered in the hole and that's all set up, zeroed out, and switch on the drill press. And we're looking to go down five millimeters. Close enough. Switch that off. And loosen the table. This isn't a precision science here. It's just got to be close. You don't want to like really overshoot the hole. Right, I've got to go down a little bit more. My drill press here is pretty old, but it does the job. Way better than one of those cheap ones. Yeah. So, just to check our science, we'll give her a little blast of air. Don't worry about the chips, this thing is being hot tank and everything before I put it in the service. Okay, so I checked the depth with my calipers and we're about, you know, 0.35 over 5 millimeters, but that's uh, a drill bit cuts kind of a radius cut at the bottom anyway, so it's not completely flat. That doesn't really matter for the inserts, so I'll grab the insert and try to get that down there left-handed. And that's it. Spin that around in the light. Maybe. There we go. That's how you put those in. So then you would just tighten your head down like normal and you don't use the, uh, the, the regular flat ARP washers that come with your studs. You just use these. And that uh, helps you prevent crushing the head when you tighten down your head studs. Pretty simple. And if you've got a drill press and some basic tools... You can do it yourself. Is it the right way to do it? Who knows? Does this work? Yes, it does. All right. Have fun. Check you next time. Mm -hmm.